Do you long to be stronger, run faster, hit harder, jump higher, see further, throw farther, live longer? Bionic technology is what you are waiting for. Welcome to Your Tech. We aim to be a source of emerging and future technology ideas, facts, and inspiration. Some years prior, bionic humans were a thing of fantasy, but now, as a result of recent technological advancements, it is becoming more and more realistic with every passing day. In this video, we will explore some of the recent advancements in bionic technology, what a complete bionic human would look like, and also some of the controversies surrounding the matter. The most well-known implementation of bionics is the development of prosthetic limbs. The primary purpose of prosthetics was to be used as a replacement for actual limbs, lost due to trauma or disease. In the past, prosthetics could only provide basic movements and lack the ability to sense pain and pressure, feel touch, and perform complex movements. More recently, bionic prosthetics have been engineered which connect to the nerves of the lost limb and can sense even the slightest muscle contractions which allow for intricate movements. Because of the connection with the nerves, they can also send signals to the brain which can convey pain and the sense of touch. Psionic A bionic technology company based in San Diego recently came out with its Ability Hand 1, which is composed of soft robotic materials such as silicone and rubber which enables it to be as lifelike as possible. It provides individual finger control, and along with being the fastest hand on the market, it provides sensory feedback as well. Faster, stronger, more powerful. Humans have been focused on self-improvement ever since they have existed, but there are limitations to what human biomechanics can achieve. Bionic technology is now shattering those barriers and redefining the capabilities of human beings as we know it. Scientists are working on bionic projects, which will induce superhuman traits in their users and will enable feats that no human could ever dream to achieve. The first demonstration of this was shown at the 2014 Football World Cup, where the first kick was delivered by a paralyzed man in an exoskeleton. Further development of the same technology that has enabled exoskeletons to help people with paralysis can be used by normal humans to gain unordinary strength and speed while also enhancing the defensive capabilities of the individual operating the exoskeleton. The downside of these advancements is that militaries all over the world are already trying to weaponize these inventions, resulting in until now very science fiction technology in warfare. You can't blame military effort to make their soldiers superior to other countries in terms of strength, speed, and overall physical capabilities. Another notable achievement in the field of bionics is the manufacturing of artificial organs. In 2021, Science Corp, a company based in California, USA, unveiled the Science Eye. It is implanted on top of and inside the eyeballs of patients suffering from diseases where the eye's light-sensing cells have died. The idea is to stimulate other cells within the eye to receive and translate light signals, enabling them to see the world once again. Such bionic eyes are also in the making that will have integrated zoom, and some using infrared technology will allow abilities such as night and heat vision to be homogenized with the human eye. A bionic heart, which is even more compact than an actual human heart, can easily perform the function of the human heart as it does its job via a motorized system rather than muscle contractions and relaxations, hence it produces no pulse. In days of the past, a person without a pulse was considered deceased, but now he can be leading a healthy life thanks to bionics. Scientists are also in the works of creating bionic lungs, which along with performing functionality of human lungs, would be capable of filtering out any harmful viruses or pollutants in the air you breathe in before they can enter your bloodstream. The success of this project would liberate a means to an end for virus outbreaks and global pandemics than to mere nuisances. Other organs that have been manufactured in accordance with the recent developments in bionic technology are artificial kidneys, which can effectively filter blood while remaining inside the body and artificial pancreas that can regulate blood sugar levels. The general availability of these organs would combat organ donation shortages throughout the world. With the good, there's the evil as well. 
As many of these artificial limbs and organs rely on electrical components, sensors, and microchips to process information from those sensors, they can be susceptible to foreign interferences. This has given rise to a group of people known as biohackers, which could intrude with a user's external or internal artificial parts, leaving them at their mercy. They could also control movement of the artificial parts of the body, either completely or in extortion or blackmail of their actions. With such advancement and the development of prosthetic limbs and organs, bionic technology is now leading towards the reproductive system. Scientists are working on an artificial womb, which would nurture the baby's embryo outside the mother's body, which would result in the elimination of deaths during childbirth. Also, the baby could be consistently monitored and issues could be resolved with more ease than surgery. This could be highly beneficial in places with decreasing populations as it could help repopulate cities or even states. Advancement in bionics have also made it possible to genetically engineer babies before birth, selecting beneficial traits and sourcing a generation of perfect humans. It is now also possible to duplicate living cells. Cell duplication experiments have been successful on microorganism colonies. When this will be possible on a larger scale, then rapid generation of wounds or even limbs could be possible. Genetic engineering development through bionic technologies have also made it possible to stop the spread of genetic diseases to future generations. We don't have a cure to many genetic diseases and maybe never will be able to cure some of these unless they can be eliminated before birth. Although on the flip side, isn't creating a perfect human against the point of being human itself? Our flaws, the mistakes we make, and our ability to learn and adapt from them is what actually makes us human. Furthermore, babies developing in artificial wombs would have a devastating effect on the already corroding family structure. Humans rather being born through a process of nature would be made in labs like some products in a factory. Wouldn't this be the end of the family system as we know them today? Also, cell duplication in the future could give rise to processes such as cloning, which would mean the end of one's personal identity. We don't want to enable the real future to align with the dystopian movies such as The Matrix, do we? These processes could be exploited for political and military purposes. Militaries enhancing a soldier's physical and mental capabilities through bionic technology and then cloning his DNA to create armies of super soldiers. Clones of well-renowned political figures could be used to spread confusion and panic amongst the general public. Bionic technology is not only limited to physical aspects and reproductive system of the human body, but as of now is also inclining towards the enhancement of mental and cognitive abilities of humans. Many companies such as Neuralink are in midst of creating brain chips that could highly enhance the intelligence of an individual. They would also provide individuals with abilities such as photographic memory, unshakable emotional stability, and excellent pattern recognition. Humans have come so far on their own. And now with intelligent enhancing chips, the possibilities of development would be unthinkable. The controversy surrounding these type of implants are huge. As the chips are to implanted directly in the brain, so decision manipulation of the users could take place. Taking away their sovereignty and will without them even having any knowledge about it. Or in the worst case scenario, complete mind control. The person wouldn't be aware of his decisions or the actions that he performs transforming humans into brainless zombies. As of now, another defect of advancement in bionic technology is that it is generally quite expensive and if any of the technology is released for public purchase, it can only be afforded by extremely wealthy people. There is already privileged difference between the wealthy and the poor. And if bionic technology remains in the higher price bracket, then it would just exaggerate the gap and promote inequality in society. Moreover, processes involved in bionic technological advancements are considered highly intrusive and generally unethical by most people. Many inventions have to pass testing phases before being released to the general public, which sometimes includes the use of humans as lab rats for experimental testing and these experiments don't always go according to plan. Keeping in mind all that we have discussed, let's envision a completely bionic human, a person born in a lab with carefully crafted genes, bionic limbs that grant him superhuman strength and speed along with hypermobility. He has bionic organs making him immune to any kind of disease and also giving him abilities such as live zoom, night vision and heat vision. Microchips are integrated with his brain 
making him superior in intelligence. He also has photographic memory and unmatched pattern recognition abilities. Anything an ordinary human can perform, he can perform several folds better. But at the cost of all the dangers and risks we have discussed previously, would you be up for it? Would you still be a human or the eventuality of a robot? Thanks for watching your take. We hope you enjoyed this video and insight into bionic humans.